very important factor for me that this was a joint collaboration between the World Bank and uh, an academic institution of high quality like the USC Annenberg School. It's really the breaking away, the moving away of the walls and encouraging people to partake in the knowledge base that resides in these two uh, sectors, the academic and the World Bank itself. This model acknowledges that we don't live in a vacuum, that in fact we exist in a society. I think this, this association between academia and, and a development organization is very powerful. The thing that made me decide to dip into my own pocket and fund this entirely out of my own savings was um, the Annenberg brand. And we're working very closely with senior people at the World Bank to help them understand how communication can help develop. How can people who are economists or who are experts in agriculture or in health or especially in economic reform, how can they tell their story better? What we do at the Annenberg School for Communication and Journalism is help people tell their story better. I'm Turkish, I can bring in the Turkish experience, whereas my colleague from Nigeria is bringing his experience from Nigeria, another one from Panama, another one from Senegal. It's really about how communications is being carried out in different parts of the world. This is really like getting a snapshot of what's happening 360 degrees all around the world. Wherever you go, you hear uh, leaders talking about uh, governance reform, but the implementation of that reform is uh, really the problem. The idea of having uh, a program that, that focuses on the business of governance and then embedding communications as being central to the process of delivering reforms appealed to me greatly. In the role play, it, it became very realistic. It allowed me to really self-reflect on the words that I use and, and, and the way that I deal with people. If this, every person if this conversation continues in this vein, there will be political consequences. There is room on this table for all of us. I repeat. The will of the people who prevail. Um, if this conversation <laughs> will um, be political I will make a few points about how I think we can move forward uh, pragmatically. It became a realistic negotiation situation where you felt pressed and challenged to um, try to make your, your voice heard and, and create a coalition somehow, and listening carefully to where you would find common ground with some of the other participants. I think the political intelligence session uh, was extremely beneficial. That's something I do often in my daily work. The uh, conflict management tool was extremely useful and has helped me see through some of the things that, skills that I'm underusing and I could use more. Strategic narrative. I can use strategic narrative to promote the image of my organization and also I can link it up with other kind of strategies that I use in the field. I view my cohorts as an international advisory board and the future five years down, ten years down the road We'll be sharing experiences and, and be, being in touch, definitely, and, and helping each other out and, and nation building. What, what would be helpful would be to con continue the networking process with your peers so that there is a network of practitioners spread across the world, sharing ideas, renewing their knowledge base, and uh, you know, working together collaboratively. You can be sure that I will be another ambassador of this program, and I will be promoting this program because it really is a very valuable network that we're building up here, from which I will be benefiting not only today, but tomorrow and also in the decade to come.